It's time to tackle one of the biggest lower body challenges we face, especially in the world of calisthenics, that of keeping your glutes and your hips engaged when in a deep squat or lunge. So much of your lower body potential to build strength, build muscle, and keep your joints safe depends on how well you use these muscles and keep them engaged throughout an entire range of motion. And it's not too uncommon for people to tell me that, you know, I feel my hips engaged, but when I get to the bottom of the squat, it kind of just drop down and everything just kind of shuts off. And I don't really feel like these muscles are doing their job. And even though a lot of experts will say, oh, don't worry, they're still working, they're still working. Always remember that your muscles do not behave and work as they should according to whatever exercise you're doing. So you could be doing squats like crazy and they're supposed to work your glutes, but your muscles engage because of what your brain is telling them to do, not the exercise. So if your mind is having trouble with that mind-muscle connection, you could do a million squats. It's never gonna make any difference. So the first thing we've gotta do is make sure you can engage those muscles to begin with, especially in a standing position. One of my favorite overcoming isometrics for doing this is you're just gonna simply stand as you would on two feet, one foot slightly in front of the other, and you're gonna kind of drive the floor apart, kind of like I'm trying to kick my back foot backwards using my glutes and my hamstrings. You shouldn't feel this in your lower back. That's always a sign your hips aren't doing their job. So you're gonna push your foot back, engaging the glutes and hamstrings to a very high degree. And I recommend practicing this on a daily basis because you're just standing there. You don't really need to do anything special. And about five, 10 seconds, just waking up the muscle, getting it to engage. It's also a good idea to practice habitual glute and hamstring activation in a seated position when you're in a chair or if you're driving your car, because usually we turn everything off in this position, which is why we have trouble engaging it in the first place. So if we're seated and we're just trying to engage those glutes, on a regular basis, that helps to override that habitual response of saying everything turn off when we get our hips lower in a potential squatted position. And then from there, we want to practice engaging the glutes and driving the hips upwards whenever we're coming out of a seated position, either box squats or even coming out of a chair. Because if the hips aren't doing their job, we typically have this kind of motion where we fall forward. And instead, we want to have our glutes engaging and driving the hips up and forward. It's good to practice on a box. So you drive up with the hips engaged and then trying to maintain some degree of gluteal engagement top to bottom. It never shuts off. And if you can get it in a squatted position, now we challenge it unilaterally. So we're in a standard lunging position. I'm gonna get my weight more on the front leg. And a trick to this is keep the shin angle and the torso angle the same. That helps to keep things engaged. Once again, kind of getting a few squeezes in the glutes to engage and then driving up and forward making sure to maintain that tension as you come down. You don't want it to be a passive activation because then you're just gonna use your muscles how you normally do, which may not be very much. And then finally, using those as a bit of a warm up before your leg training, just practicing being in a deep squat, engaging the glutes a few times. And if you don't feel it, don't worry too much about it. Just trying to get the muscle to engage will eventually teach it to engage at a stronger rate and then we can drive up and try to keep your glutes engaged as you come down. Practice it with low levels of resistance. You're not gonna be able to do this very well with your higher level like weighted squats or pistol squats. You wanna have very easy exercises when you're working on proficiency. And over time and repetition, you'll become more proficient at keeping your hips engaged in a deep squatted position. You can also apply these in these micro workouts here, which take less time, but are very efficient and effective and good practice for keeping your hips and your glutes and hamstrings engaged in your lunges and your squats. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know if you have questions down below. Be fit and live free.